Well, according to the Prairie North Health Region, more than 90% of women in the prairies start breastfeeding. But it also points out by six months, only 30% of mothers continue to breastfeed, a statistic the region hopes to change. Now, in this week's Healthy Living, Anna Stanislaw explains the importance of breastfeeding for longer than six months and the future benefits it has for both the mother and baby. New mom Chelsea Lewis experienced a few problems when she first began breastfeeding her daughter. Sadira had a poor latch at first and um, we encountered thrush, which is kind of, it can be a common issue if you have a poor latch and things kind of progress from there. But after seeking medical help and support from a local group, Chelsea continues to breastfeed six-month-old Sidira. It's the biological norm for both mom and baby, um, so it's really going to set up both mom and baby for the best um, optimal health. Um, throughout both of their lifespans. Seeking out professionals and surrounding yourself with people who encourage you to breastfeed is vital for a mother and child. This public health nutritionist says some mothers stop after six months because they feel they're not producing enough milk. We want to support them but also to reassure them that their body is producing what the child needs and that they, they generally do not need to worry about the more they breastfeed the more breast milk they will make. Ween says breast milk provides anti bodies and can help prevent chronic diseases like cancer and obesity and reduce the risk of ear infections for the baby. Breastfeeding also benefits the mother, helping her return to pre-pregnancy weight and can reduce the chance of breast and ovarian cancer. We're also trying to get the message out that it is still incredibly important to continue that breastfeeding with the addition of foods up to that year, two years and even beyond that. In the end, it is up to the mother and child on when they decide to stop breastfeeding. As long as she wants to be breastfed, we'll keep breastfeeding. Anna Stanislaw, New Cap News. To Ag News Now, now agriculture is without a doubt one of the backbones of the Saskatchewan economy and all this month the province is celebrating the industry. Kyle Galver has more in this week's Ag Report. Lyle Stewart has proclaimed October as Agriculture Month. It's uh, important, I think, to number one, recognize the men and women that, uh, that, uh, that achieve this great success in agriculture. The industry is a major contributor to Saskatchewan's economy. It employs more than 50,000 people and accounts for almost 8% of the GDP. The Prairie Province provides over 50% of the world's lentils, 38% of the peas and 21% of the planet's canola oil. We are uh, the top uh, agricultural exporting province in the country uh, with uh, over 11 billion dollars in exports last year uh, and uh, a leading producer in the world of a number of uh, food commodities. The month is also being used to promote agriculture to younger generations. An opportunity catalog was created featuring examples of jobs in ag and highlights the people behind them and the unique paths they took to end up in the industry. We're getting out a, a piece to uh, teachers and guidance counselors that uh, sort of uh, promotes the industry uh, to young people and encourages them to uh, uh, seek a career in agriculture. And with this being a stellar year in the fields, Stuart feels it's a perfect time to embrace agriculture. It looks like uh, this is going to be uh, a record crop uh, provincially and, uh, uh, you know, kudos to the men and women that made that happen. Kyle Gallagher, New Cap News.